On that point, uh, all I would say to that is I'm an Irish Catholic and we had the troubles in Northern Ireland. Different circumstances. I'm not going to try and equate the two. Uh, but there you had people on both sides trying to kill each other. You had the IRA trying to kill c civilians uh, indiscriminately to make their political points. And in the end, a peace deal was achieved, but it was achieved by people sitting down opposite people they knew had been killing civilians and killing people on their side. You even had the Queen meeting Martin McGuinness and Gerry Adams, who were the, uh, you know, in McGuinness's case, the former chief of staff of the IRA. He ordered some of the most appalling atrocities. The Queen, one of her own relatives, was blown to pieces, uh, Lord Mountbatten, by the IRA, but she still met with them. I was actually at Number 10 Downing Street when Tony Blair met McGuinness and Adams on the steps for the first time in, in 70 years uh, as the members of Sinn Féin and shook their hands. I was next in to see him in his office. And it was a, an extraordinary moment to watch. And it was a moment many people thought would never happen. Um, do you see any parallel there in terms of what could be achieved with Israel and Palestine? Only if the leadership changes. Only if the leadership changes on the Palestinian side. That is the only way that happens. And again, the, uh, the, the difference here is that the IRA had territorial ambitions. Hamas does not have territorial ambitions. They have genocidal ambitions. The Palestinian Authority has been offered multiple deals over multiple decades, and they have rejected, without counteroffers, virtually every deal they have ever been offered. Islamic Jihad is a terrorist group. Again, if, if the IRA was dedicated to the complete slaughter and eradication of every non-Irish Britisher in the UK, mm. that would be the equivalent of Hamas. And that would not be a negotiating position because, again, could there be successful negotiations? With, it depends on it depends on the partner. Right. I mean, the, the, the example that you're using is is the best example of sides that are incredibly far apart coming together. But here we are talking about one side that simple premise: if Israel put down all of its guns tomorrow, every Jew in the region would be slaughtered. If Hamas put down all of its guns tomorrow, Israel would leave the Gaza Strip alone. It is that simple.